in this series on how I write, design, and self-publish my books in step number 11 of the process. You know, once you know the exact page count of your book, it's time to download a free book cover template from kdp.com where I print my paperback books and publish them on amazon.com so you can design the front, back, spine covers of your book for the printer. Come on, let me show you how that's done. It's super easy. Again, determine the exact page count of your book. And you do that in seconds by looking at the final page count of your interior pages PDF, which I like to generate for the interior pages of my book for the printer. And I showed you how I do that in the previous video. So be sure to check that out. With the total page count noted in your browser, head to Google and just type in KDP paperback cover template. And when you do, click the first option. And on this page is where we're going to enter some information that they require so that they can generate the exact cover template that we need to design the exact book cover for the dimensions of the book you want and the right spine width. Let's check out this little form. It's super, super easy. So on this form, here's how we fill it in so we can generate the kind of template we need to design our book covers. It's really easy. Check it out. Enter your book information. Binding type. It's going to be a paperback. Interior type. Definitely going to be black and white printed text. Paper type. White paper. Page turn direction. Left to right. Measurement. Inches. And then select trim size. This is going to be a five and a half by eight and a half sized book in inches. Now, other standard book size versions are six by nine, and I'm just letting you know this. Eight and a half by 11, but this is gonna be a five and a half by eight and a half. Okay, great. Page count. I bet you have that memorized by now, don't you? 320. Well, let's calculate the dimensions and take a look at this. Pretty cool. This is what the template kind of looks like, you know? But when we're ready to download it, all we gotta do is click the download template button right here. And in seconds, a pop-up window comes up where you can save the template in this zip file. Now let's read this paperback, five and a half by eight and a half, 320. This template will indicate the page count of your book. Very cool. Also black and white text, white paper, excellent. And we're saving it in the covers folder of our book because we're going to design a cover for this book. So let's go ahead and save it in this folder and I'll actually give you another little tip. I'm going to create a folder in this folder and I'm going to call it reference. Okay. When I do, I'm actually going to save this zip file in the reference folder. Why? Because I don't really want a whole lot of files kind of like being clustered in this main covers area. And when you see what I'm about to do, you'll like, oh, you know, that was a good idea. So I just create a little reference folder and I'll just click on it and we'll just save the file right here. And it really takes seconds to download. Once it does, I'm going to click this little option here, show in folder. Watch these steps, show in folder. Okay, now this is a zip file, which means it contains other files. I'm going to double click on this. When I do, there will be some files in here, PNG and PDF. I have no need for the PDF. I do want the PNG. So I'm going to take this PNG and I'm going to drag it, which copies it over to the covers folder. And that's done in seconds. So here's the reference folder, and here's the image of the template. This is the actual template that I downloaded from kdp.com so I can go ahead and generate my book covers, front, back, and spine. All right, let me show you one more step that I do with this template before I actually design the actual book covers, front, spine, and back covers. 
Come on, let's check that out right now. So, when it comes to designing covers, you can use virtually almost any graphics design program. Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Fireworks, whatever it is that you want to use. I have stumbled upon, and I really like, Affinity Designer. So, with that said, I'm going to go to File, Open, and look at here. Paperback, 5.5 by 8.5, 320 black and white pages in white paper. Let's click it, and here it is. Pretty cool, huh? Let's take a look at this before I get into what I do to this, which you'll think is pretty insightful after hmm, I kind of go into it. So check this out. This is a paperback book cover template, left to right, five and a half by eight and a half inches, overall dimensions, spine width, black and white text, 320 pages on white paper. Cream paper, you saw that option before. Cream paper is a little thicker, kind of used for fiction books, kind of, sort of, you know? Uh, white paper is, you know, nonfiction, self-help, that kind of stuff. Black and white, same thing. Here's the spine, which if your page count is, let's say, under 100 to 110 pages, you will not be able to put text on your spine. So if your book is over 110 pages, let's say, and this is 320 pages, so it's over 110 pages, you can see how wide the spine is. I will be able to put text on that spine and I'll show you what I did for my latest book and I'll show you how I put the text on that spine pretty cool here's the back cover of the book you can see the barcode area we cannot put anything in here this is reserved for the barcode so just put your text and your graphics and all that behind this barcode area and pretty much what you see here is you see dashed lines you see pink you see solid lines you see white Basically what you're looking at here is white is where we can put text and graphics. You can also have graphics go over the edge. That's called going over the bleed area. We've got an area right here that we cannot put any text in. Graphics and colors can go in here, but they're going to bleed over the line into the bleed area and that's okay too. But all text must go within the white area. Okay, good. Now, here's what I do for my covers. I don't know how other people design their covers. I'm sure I could learn a tip or two. We all can, right? Well, I'll tell you something. The way I do my covers, starting right here with this template, I've been doing these covers with this particular procedure and these steps for, I don't know, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 years. <laughs> you get the idea. Seriously, this is tried and true. So what I do is I'm going to create guides, guidelines, right over every line that I can and cannot put text and images in. And when I'm done with adding those guidelines to this template, I'm going to remove the template. Yeah, I'm going to remove it. Watch. Goodbye. That template is gone, isn't it? Let's bring it back. There it is. Okay, so right now, I'm gonna be a little quiet, and I'm gonna actually apply these guidelines to the whole template. Watch how I do that right now. Now, all I'm gonna do is I'm going to create some guides, and I'm gonna place them over every line that is visible to me in this template and literally count. Well, you don't have to, but just track how long this takes. This doesn't take long at all. And literally in about a minute or two or whatever it takes, you'll have the guidelines set up for this book so you can get rid of this template image and Go to town creating your book cover. This doesn't take long at all, does it? And when I'm kind of done here with the creating the guides, I'm actually going to zoom in 
and I'll show you that. I'll zoom in so we can really see how well we added guides to these lines and we'll want to perfect them. You know, do they have to be on the outside or the inside? It doesn't matter. These lines are so minute and finite, it doesn't matter. And I'm just scrolling down to the very bottom. And again, I was just pretty quick at adding the, the guides, but I want to make sure I got them really tight. And I'll come over to this barcode area and make sure this is precise. Pretty easy. Do the uh, spine while I'm at it. I got to do this right over here. See, isn't this just so easy? Easy, easy, easy. And I'll actually, uh, optional, but I'll actually create one for the area of the spine. You know, right here. This is the actual spine. Okay, good. This looks good. Let's go over to the far right edge. And again, be precise with our guides. So easy. Looks good. Let's go to the top. This looks great. You know, we're kind of done here. And take a look. Like literally. How fast was that? You know, how fast was that? And here's now the cool, beautiful trick. So you can tell all the guides cover the bleed areas, the edges where we can't put text in, where we can put text. The guides are everywhere. And all we did was we just dragged from the ruler and we just dragged a guide wherever we wanted to place it. Okay. And top, left, right, bottom. And if you ever wanted to get rid of one of these, you could easily just move it and it would disappear. But let's not do that. There you go. Now, the last step that I'm going to do before we go and start designing our amazing covers, front, spine, back, is I got to get rid of this image. You know, this image here, this template, it's an image. And I don't want it in the way because it is a layer that means nothing to me. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this image off the screen, out of view, goodbye, see you later, I don't need you. Now what I have is I have a blank empty canvas to create the most amazing book cover that my creativity can create. That we will cover in the next video tutorial in the series on how I write, design, and self-publish my books. You're doing great. What did you think about this video? Did you learn anything? Was it kind of cool? Comment in the comment section below and I'll comment right back at you just as soon as I can. All right, let's continue to the next video in this tutorial series. You're doing great and I hope you're getting so much out of this series. All right, come on, let's continue to the next video.